Now, I know we're all disappointed that Elden Ring comes out on Friday, which means I can't do a review about it until next week, because I'll need time to play it. We've got Fallout 4 this weekend, by the if you're if you didn't realise from the last video, it's uh, that's perfectly fine. But it's okay. We can all calm down because we've got something better. I like to think we've got something better. It's the latest work from the Voices games. It's not the Voice games, the Voices games. I, I've been getting that wrong. I apologise. So let's play it. As you can see, we are a spacey ship, and we are shooting a boomerang at whatever the fuck those are supposed to be. Because those can't be possibly be the dragons. I mean, they are. That's Let's stop the sarcasm. They're totally meant to be the dragons. That was an escape pod I blew up. I didn't realise you weren't supposed to blow those up because I wasn't actually reading the text. I was just sort of... I'll be honest, I was kind of... Um, I was a bit caught by surprise when I played this because... The voice games have a... God, hideous art style. A genuinely hideous art style. Hideous 3D they make, but... I've praised it for being so unique that you'd never you'd never get their works and the works of another studio mixed up as a result. So there's a benefit to it, you know. You look you look they look very distinct. And then this game came out, it's a 2D side scrolly shooter. It's one of those auto scrolling games, as you can probably tell. And look at it. You could probably make this in Microsoft PowerPoint. I probably, I'll probably do a one-to-one -one recreation of this scene in Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you can do that, your game doesn't look very good. Like, it's just... I don't understand... I don't get it, like, why Why is any of this... I don't get why this weapon is a thing. Um, most levels have you swapping between weapons. I don't... I don't know why. Please don't ask. At first we had that boomerang. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain why a spaceship would have a boomerang. It just seems a bit pointless. Now we've got a lightsaber. Later... We get these balls that, like, sort of bounce off surfaces and shit, but... Yeah, it's... It's really not good. You can't even turn your spaceship around to look the other way, so if an enemy gets past you, you just sort of lost them. You might have seen that screen not long ago that said, uh, you know, kill all the enemies, take no damage, get all the escape pods. That's like a list of objectives, and, well... <sighs> I'm probably not gonna... Not gonna clear all of those this time. See, because I just got another escape pod. It was behind a rock. That was that wasn't my fault. But anyway, I'm just sort of waiting for the level to end now because once you've destroyed all the threats, and you just got to wait for the rocks to float out of sight, and then the level is over. But we're still waiting. Just waiting. You'll notice the stars in the background don't move or change now. Perhaps that's an attempt at realism, because you see, down here on Earth, we humans with our feeble little eyes and our, our tiny ability to comprehend will look up at the night sky and see it eternal, static, because the distances are so great, we can't even perceive the stars changing. Perhaps that's what this is. But what else it is, it's just really boring to look at. Like, I like looking at stars, even if they are just dots of white on a black background. But these are dots of ugly yellow. I mean, I, I hate to say something like this because it makes me feel kind of crummy, but this game looks like it was actually designed on an artistic level by a child. By a child who doesn't really get how to make good games. You know, and... It's just, I mean, look at this. Like, your kid would probably bring something like this to you made out of construction paper. They'd show it to you, say, Mummy, Daddy, look what I made. And it's like, you, you, you'd you'd say to them, Yeah, it's pretty good, child, well done. And once they're out of the... Once you're short out of earshot, then you laugh at them for being shit at art because they're children. That's what this game makes me think of. I like how you can see a slight... A slight misalignment of the floor there. This game was 39p, by the way. You could, you could purchase this game on your PlayStation for 39 English pence. And um, I'm just going to say it, it's not worth 39p. It isn't. I, I've, I've played three games on my phone that are worth more money than this game is. This is such a boring little adventure. I mean, oh, hey, I'm, not, I'm not even having a, an awkwardly bad time in the enjoyable way that the other games give me. Like, I've ripped on 
um, the works of the Voices games before. I, I constantly do. They're, my fa they're one of my favourite studios. Because while their work is never good, it's always interesting in some way. Like, if, if nothing else, at least visually, because their 3D models look so horrendous that I actually, I actually sort of admire them. But this... This just looks like throw a bunch of 2D sprites into a room and then you've got a game. You've got the same sized health bar as you have in most of their other games. You've got the same very limited means of interacting with the game. No story. There's not even the slightest the slightest bit of context for what we're doing. It's just a it's just a game that's not very good. And that oh, I just bang my elbow on the table. And that, that just makes me sad, because their games have never been high quality. This, this, the studio doesn't produce high quality games, but they at least produce interesting, interesting little titles that were, were worth a giggle at. This one is just not fun. It's not interesting. It's just... It's, it's, it's the closest thing you can get to if boredom would manifest. And I would rather be playing Summertime Madness to this, and Summertime Madness was shit. It was a walking simulator that, that did all the worst parts of a walking simulator, and none of the good parts of it. And how comes these dragons can turn, and I can't? Like, I pressed all the buttons, and I couldn't figure it out. This is where I die. See? Nailed it. Also, at some point in the um, video, it's gonna you're gonna see it say paused. That's because on the original um, recording I was making, I accidentally knocked the mic out and it stopped recording the audio. So that's why we're doing this a little differently. That's why this isn't me. Um, I'm not playing this as I say this to you. I've already played it. I'm now just giving you my impressions of it separately, but because I fucked up. <laughs> I hope. I knocked the mic out of place. I think I can see where it's coming. I see a big silence in the audio clip, so that's probably where it's coming. But look at all them dragons. So many dragons, so little time. I don't know what else to say, really. Like, this game is less than 15 minutes. Like, you can beat this game in less than 15 minutes, so. I, I, want, I only got two trophies, though, this time, so it's probably not a trophy spam game. Which is at least something. No, that silence is just uh, me floating in the void, it seems. Because the levels don't end well. They just end after everything has gone past you. Do 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 do. This is so exciting. Do do be do be do. Oh, Jesus, type dancing Christ. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now I've got the ball weapon again, yay. And these dragons have turrets on their back. Like, how are these supposed to be dragons? They don't look, like, admittedly the, the creations that the studio make never look like anything. They, they look like what you might see in your nightmares after eating at a particularly bad restaurant. But these just look, these just look like bits of shape, just sort of pulled and mashed until they vaguely resemble the creature. And again, it's just disappointing because it doesn't have that unique look that their other games have. It's just so... It's, it's, it almost looks so safe. Like, it's so so basic in its 2D. Like, you probably see this in an arcade back in the 90s and think, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a bit, well, probably not the 90s, but I think by the 90s we had better than this. Um, uh, before I was born, I'm thinking, I'm going to have to think of like Back before 1996, probably in the 80s, you might have seen this in an arcade and thought, yes, that's all right, actually. But we've got better better games these days, better better arcade games. And this is just not, this isn't top tier anything. It's, it's not even top tier shit. It's just not fun to play. It's not fun to think about. It's not fun to do anything with, really. I'm certain that pause is coming up in a minute. Might use that time to plug me other channel. I do need to do more self-promotion. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also check out uh, my Patreon if you want to support the channel directly. Because it will help a lot. 
if you if you are a patron, you'll uh, get 24 hours early access to new reviews. And when I finally get round to setting up a Discord server, when I've got a bit of a when I've got a bit more of a fan base, that's sort of a long term goal. Um, you'll have access to that as well, so that'll be lovely. We'll sit there, discuss video games. You know, it should be fun. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and other places. I'll, I'll leave the links in the description. There's the, there's the pause. That's the first time I locked the mic out. There's a couple more coming. <laughs> because, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% today. I don't feel that great. I went out last night over my nephew's because it was his birthday and my sister has dogs. And I love dogs, but I'm kind of allergic to them. So if I go over and see them, there's a second pause. If I go over, if I go over and see them, that's the next day of my life is just useless. There's a third pause. The next day of my life is just useless at that point. <laughs> this is a long pause. My other channel, by the way, if you're interested, I just sort of show off my drawing because I do drawings as well as gaming, if, if you don't know. Um, yeah, I just sort of show the process of how I draw some things. It, so far, it's just a video showing the drawing process and a bit of background music. I'm thinking of expanding upon it, though, so that should be fun. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out. It's, it is just to show off how I do it because, well, I've got the recording software on my computer. I might as well use it for something. This is a, oh God. Oh dear, that, now that, if you were curious, that was my um, alert, my phone's alert noise. And yes, it was the Dark Souls You Died sound effect. It's very loud. I don't miss messages because of it, so that's good. I'll put my phone on silent now, though, so it doesn't happen again. But that that legitimately scares the shit out of me nine times out of ten. I'll just be sat there, minding my own business, maybe even on the loo, and I'll just hear that really loudly echoing through the flat. I'll be like, Jesus Christ! But yeah. and, and you'll notice I've stopped talking about the game on screen, because what else is there to say about this, really? Even by the works of a not-so-good studio, this is a disappointment. It's a 2D disappointment. Like In Eleona, we had extra mechanics thrown in. We didn't use them. We, we had like a... We had a crouch thrown in that we could use. We never used it in the game, but we could have. We had... Um, actually, that was the... We had the whole gravity thing, that was it. We had the gravity thing, which was a quite a clever little mechanic. I liked it. You know, it, you know if they built upon that, that'd be pretty cool. we we get to see more. But they didn't. They just we just made a game and then it ended abruptly. Now, here's a boss fight. This is why I didn't just cut the video off. I wanted you to see that this game actually had a boss fight in it. Because, you know, it seems in each one of their games, they add one extra idea that makes that is a good idea, and everything else is just terrible. Like, this is Lady vs. the Cats had a basic story. Didn't really have anything else. It was just shitty shooting mechanics and ugly visuals, but... You know, ugly in a almost, in a, not almost, just ugly in an amusing way. And then you had the Newtonian Diversion, which first played with gravity a little bit, just not quite as well. Then you had um, Violet e. Guti, which introduced the idea of a bit of a hub world, and you know, you know, you had to get certain amounts of crystals to unlock your next areas. It brought that to the um, to the uh, works of the Voices games. Then you had, um, what do we have next? We had um, Lady the Leotard with a gun, I believe? Yeah, we had that. And that introduced the idea that we don't have ammo for our gun, we can just shoot. And there were extra enemies, and there was the, the levels were more unique looking. And then we had Eleona, which had, had added the crouch and added the, the more in-depth gravity-based mechanics. There was, like, each one of their games seems to contain at least one idea that's not unique to games. Like, it's been done in other games before, but one new idea for them that definitely deserves to... All, if, they, if they took all these good ideas and put them into a single game, that'd be fantastic. It'd be great. Uh, additional sound effects, free... This is, by the way, a good time to mention, like, say what you will regarding the sound effects in this game, but the site that they got them from, freesound.org, I use it myself. It's a very good site. If you're a creator, I highly recommend that you use that if you need various sound effects because like it's, it's a bit hard to get funding for certain things it's literally just a bunch of free sounds are royalty free so yeah they've, they've used freesound.org for a lot of their stuff which is fine it's absolutely fine 
And when I saw graphics originally and then saw that M, I thought it was going to say Microsoft PowerPoint, because I still just don't believe that this wasn't a was made in Microsoft PowerPoint somehow. I'd be impressed if it was, actually, because I don't think you could do that, but... But yeah, no, this was Dragons in Space. It was nowhere near as weird as their other works, nowhere near as interesting, and I'm just... I'm just kind of bored. I'm just kind of bored and let down, so... Yeah. Gave us something to moan about before Elden Ring comes out, though, so at least there's that. There's that. That'll do. That'll do.